today I'm here with John Wells at his lovely greenhouse and we're going to talk a little bit about cooling and ventilating and he has a few techniques that we can uh, talk in more detail but some of the basics that I would like to illustrate are the difference between active and passive ventilation. So your passive ventilation would be more of the openings. We have these doors here that open wide so air can flow in and out and um, roll up sides where you can get more flow across as well as ridge vents which would open up along the top and and then you have various forms of louvers and shutters that are along the top to move air across the top. Um, plants uh, do not want excessive heat so it's really important to find ways to get the air to move through and to not allow it to heat up excessively. Um, and then our active forms would be more of the fans, exhaust fans, horizontal airflow fans, which would be inside and be moving air back and forth actively. Um, and one thing I thought John could talk about, since this is his house, is the automatic roll-up sides. I have two roll-up sides, one on each side. It's a 72-foot long house, so they run the length of the house. Uh, they're motorized and uh, hooked to a controller. Uh, they work incrementally. So it opens up the side in different uh, increments that you can set. Um, it has different set points uh, for a top limit and a bottom limit. Uh, it also is tied into the, uh, the shutter that is up at the peak. There's a shutter on both ends, uh, so they work together. Uh, it starts off with the roll-up side, uh, and if it still needs more cooling, the shutters open and they cause this kind of chimney effect draw through the house, bringing in cool, fresh air. Great. Sounds like a lot less work for you, too. Being automated, being totally automated, I, I never have to uh, do anything other than uh, program in the set points, and uh, it takes care of itself. Super. I love it. Thanks.